First of all, we will discuss about the heterosis. The term heterosis was first used by Shell in 1914. Heterosis has two synonyms, hybrid vigor and outbreeding enhancement. We can define the heterosis in this way. Heterosis refers to superiority of F1 hybrids in many characters over its parents, such as general vigor, yield, adaptations, etc. There are three types of hybrids we can develop. Single cross hybrids or F1 hybrids, it means A cross B. 3-way hybrids means A cross B hybrid is crossed with R. Double cross hybrids where two different F1 hybrids are crossed up means A cross B hybrid is crossed with R cross S hybrid. Genetically, heterosis can be explained by three hypotheses. Dominance hypothesis, overdominance hypothesis, and epistasis hypothesis. The first is dominance hypothesis. Dominance hypothesis was given by Davenport in 1908 and supported by Bruce in 1910. According to this hypothesis, heterosis is developed due to superiority of dominant alleles over recessive alleles. It means capital A, capital A and capital A, small a are equally dominant over small a, small a. Similarly, capital B, capital B and capital B, small b are equally dominant over small b, small b. Heterosis is directly proportional to the number of dominant genes contributed by each parent. For example, parent 1 has two dominant genes and parent 2 also has two dominant genes. If we cross them, F1 hybrid is produced which has four dominant genes. Next is overdominance hypothesis. Overdominance hypothesis was given by East and Shell independently in 1908. According to this hypothesis, Heterosis is developed due to heterozygosity. In heterozygous condition, dominant allele shows overexpression as compared to homozygous dominant condition. This is called overdominance. For example, capital A small a is overdominant over capital A capital A and small a small a. Similarly, Capital B small b is overdominant over capital B capital B and small b small b. Heterosis is directly proportional to the amount of heterozygosity in F1 hybrid. We can explain the overdominance hypothesis by using two examples. In first example, parent 1 and parent 2 shows similarity in the presence of capital B capital B and small d small d. By crossing between parent 1 and parent 2, hybrid 1 is produced which has two heterozygous pairs. In second example, parent 1 and parent 2 are completely different from each other. By crossing between parent 1 and parent 2, produce hybrid 2 which has four heterozygous pairs. Now, if we compare the hybrid 1 and hybrid 2 for heterosis, then we found that hybrid 2 show more heterosis due to more heterozygosity. Next is epistasis hypothesis. This hypothesis was given by Gowen in 1952. According to this hypothesis, Heterosis is developed due to favorable epistatic interactions between non-allelic genes. For example, capital A, capital A is dominant over capital A, small a and 
capital A small a is dominant over small a small a. Similarly, capital B capital B is dominant over capital B small b and capital B small b is dominant over small b small b. Heterosis can be estimated by three ways average heterosis, heterobaltiosis and useful heterosis. The first is average heterosis. When the heterosis is estimated over the mid parent then it is called as average heterosis. It can be estimated by the use of following formula. AH is equal to F1 bar minus MP bar divided by MP bar into 100. Here AH is equal to average heterosis. F1 bar is equal to average performance of F1 hybrid and MP bar is equal to average of performances of both the parents. It means P1 bar plus P2 bar divided by 2. The second is heterobaltiosis. When the heterosis is estimated over the better parent then it is called as heterobaltiosis. It can be estimated by the use of following formula. Hb is equal to F1 bar minus Bp bar divided by Bp bar into 100. Here Hb is equal to heterobaltiosis. F1 bar is equal to average performance of F1 hybrid and BP bar is equal to average performance of better parent. The third is useful heterosis. The term useful heterosis was used by Meredith and Bridge in 1972. When the heterosis is estimated over the standard commercial check variety then it is called as useful heterosis. It is also called as economic heterosis and standard heterosis. This type of heterosis is of direct practical value in plant breeding. Useful heterosis can be estimated by the use of following formula. UH is equal to F1 bar minus CV bar divided by CV bar into 100. Here UH is equal to useful heterosis. F1 bar is equal to average performance of F1 hybrid and CV bar is equal to average performance of check variety. Now what is luxuriance? This is the superiority of F1 hybrid over its parents upon interspecific hybridization. F1 hybrid shows more vigor and size as compared to their parents. As shown in the diagram, species 1 is crossed with species 2 to produce interspecific hybrid. This interspecific hybrid is more vigor and size and it is partial or complete sterile. Now what is the commercial application of heterosis? Many varieties in different crops are developed by heterosis breeding. In maize, Ganga 2, Ganga 5 and Ganga 11 are developed by heterosis breeding. In pearl millet, HB3, BJ104 and MH179 are developed by heterosis breeding. In sunflower, BSH1, KBSH1, KBSH11 are developed by heterosis breeding. In castor, GCH2, GCH3 and GCH4 are developed by heterosis breeding. In Pigeon P, ICPH8 variety is developed by heterosis breeding. In Jute, 
hybrid C variety is developed by heterosis breeding. In Brinjal, Vijay and Pusa Kranti varieties are developed by heterosis breeding. In Watermelon, Pusa Sanyog variety is developed by heterosis breeding. Almost all fruit trees are developed by heterosis breeding. Next, we will discuss about the inbreeding depression. Inbreeding depression refers to decrease in fitness and vigor due to inbreeding. It results from mating between closely related individuals. It is due to decrease in heterozygosity and increase in homozygosity. It is due to fixation of unfavorable recessive genes. 